Hey guys, welcome to the video today. I just have another mail opening of action figures and geeky collectibles, etc. for my online store. As to this point, my store is really quite small and it's quite bold of me to do another order of action figures, etc. when nothing from the first order has sold since I did the mail opening video for that order. But first of all, I'm going to do a couple of pickups because they're on top of the box. So here's a few things I picked up yesterday while I was out. First of all, Elite Survivor Series Keith Lee from TJ Hughes, finally reduced to £9. These have been in TJ Hughes since at least the Christmas before last. Like, at least that long. Probably even longer. They've probably been in there like a year at that point. You know, over a year ago, I went into this TJ Hughes in Hartlepool and, and saw these and thought, yeah, when they reduce those, I'll get one. And, you know, I went in a few weeks ago even and there were still 12 and here we go, £9. Can't really argue with it for that. Of course, it's only got the single jointed elbows. And they finally reduced them around the time where the AEW figure of his is finally arriving in the UK. However, AEW figures also don't seem to be as readily available as they once were over here. So maybe it will never get to this kind of price point. Who knows? Maybe this will still be a cheaper option. I also picked up this Lego Creator camera set for my sister. I thought this would just be a nice thing for her to do when my nephew is away, like when he's uh, staying at his dad's or something, when she's got a night to herself. You know, she's into photography and everything like that, so I thought it might just be a nice thing for her to do. I think it would just be something for my nephew to uh, interrupt and mess about with at this point, but, you know, it's something she can do while uh, while he's away. This was only £14 reduced in-game, and it was about 18 on Amazon, I think, so it was nice to save uh, £4 on that. And to tick something off the list of stuff I need to get for a birthday. And finally, I just got myself this little Ford Escort RS2000 from B&M, where the, uh, the Hot Wheels singles are still reasonably priced, you know, as opposed to Sainsbury's, where I saw it the day before, where it was 70 pence more expensive. I know it's only 70 pence, but when you're dealing in Hot Wheels, that really matters. That's a really big difference. And now, speaking of really big things, we get the really big box full of stock. It's not as enormous as the first box of stock I ordered in for the store, where it very much was a mistake. I can't reach my scissors for the box, where it very much was a mistake to bring the box upstairs. This time, it is a bloody big box, but I, I, you know, I think we could justify doing this part up here. There's a couple of things in here, a couple of sets of action figures and stuff like that, but one thing that is really interesting is an assortment of the Christmas series of the Pixar Cars diecast. So I'm very interested to see what we get in there. First whack of those is gonna to go to my nephew, second whack to me, and then whatever's left is gonna go in the store. I have no idea what to expect in this kind of assortment. I've not exactly looked it up or anything, so I have absolutely no idea what we're expecting to get. But yeah, should be fun to find out. And then we've got a couple of other pieces that are just worth a bit of money to just sell on. So yeah. Now, wow, I'm fully off the video now. Now, let's uh, put the box, big box off to the side and we'll get into the little boxes. In fact, actually, let's do a quick picture of the little boxes before I get cracking. Since I'm taking a picture inside the box anyway, there's a little box view for you guys. There you go. And now we'll get back to it. So get this rubbish out the way. First of all, what's the least interesting? We'll go with this. This is bizarre. I literally just ordered this because I was £4 off the minimum delivery threshold and I couldn't find anything else that seemed worth getting. Didn't want to spend a lot. Didn't, didn't have the money to spend much more. But you could order one copy of this for £12. So it, it seemed the best option. And you can list this on eBay for like 30 So this is the Little People, the Fisher-Price Little People, Elton John figure set. Bizarre, isn't it? But I figured, you know, for the sake of uh, getting over the shipping threshold, you know, this will either sell or, you know, I mean, it'll sell eventually to, to some Elton John collector or something, I guess. But yeah, completely bizarre. Don't know why you'd want to get your child a little people's Elton John figure set, but it exists. So there you go. Again, yeah, listed that on eBay for about 30. There were some cheaper listings now, but I'll probably just wait it out. Wait till they go and see what we uh, see what we get on that. You know, not a rush. It's not taking up a lot of space. 
Next interesting thing, I guess we'll go with this one. Minecraft Diamond Level Creeper action figures. Now, initially I was looking at the pictures and I thought these look the same as the as the, the regular Minecraft figures. Like, what is the difference? Why are these so premium? Why do these why do these have a price tag? What's the difference, you know? And basically, the difference is, if you haven't seen already. God, I don't miss that part of working in a toy shop. Well, I don't miss many parts of working in a toy shop, to be honest. Especially now I'm doing the same thing, but for myself. The difference is, they're huge. It's five and a half inches. So you get the creeper, you get the electric charge creeper kind of cover, and you also get a block of TNT as well. Very interesting. I would be tempted to do an unboxing on one of these. They weren't really expensive, and, you know, I do like Minecraft. I wouldn't mind having this sat on a shelf or something. And I could definitely see me, if I ever get around to doing my Minecraft figure animated series, using this as like an enormous bundle of TNT or something daft, you know, something just ridiculous like that. They're very interesting. Again, really good price on these. We can get, I think these are listed for like £24 on my eBay. You notice I'm not referring to my Shopify anymore. That is currently dead. I might come back to it one day, but it just, you know, it, it was just going nowhere. So I just, I thought, you know what? eBay fees are the price you pay to not have to care as much and to not put as much effort in. So, sorry about that guys, but if you want a better deal on anything, you know, that you see in any of my videos, just send me a message on the DSW Network, Instagram page, or the Disaster Figs Facebook page, and I'll get you a better deal. But all my sales were from eBay, apart from a few card sales on Card Market. So, we had to stick with them. Now, I have accidentally gouged one of these, so that's good. Uh, the last thing here, is six Marvel Legends War Machine figures. Now, this is really interesting to me because a lot of the Marvel Legends that they still have in stock is the ones that don't sell. And I would have thought this War Machine looks like the kind of figure that wouldn't sell. You know, it's not exactly your most typical War Machine in the world. It's not the most exciting thing. It's not exactly like his miniguns hanging all over him or anything like that. But there's a reasonable price for these on eBay. So, yeah, I thought they were worth picking up, really. I think I've got these listed for 25 which is pretty good. I think it was the case of, like, they just happened to have a good deal on at a good time. Like, a lot of the Marvel Legends that they had good prices on were very much the ones that just don't sell. But I think I just got lucky with uh, catching these while they were on uh, sale. And speaking of catching them, there's where I've caught one with uh, the scissors there. So that's a shame. These things happen, especially when you're working in a toy shop and you need to be cutting open the boxes very quickly. But, yeah... Very weird one that, you know, I wouldn't have thought those war machines would uh, would be worth anything. I don't think there is a lot of, like, recent sold listings. I think there was one where it sold for, like, 27 or something like that. So that's a really good sign. But really, the reason why we ordered all this stuff, even though they are all good deals, the reason why we ordered this stuff was to justify ordering the Christmas Cars Cars. Disney Pixar Cars Wintertime Cruises Assortment. This is the fun part of the video. This is where we get to find out, you know, what we are getting in this assortment. So I only have Lightning McQueen. My nephew only has Lightning McQueen and Sarge. So anything else is, you know, we, you know, we need. And anything that, you know, is duplicates or that we already have. Look, me, look, I'm trying not to look in the box. So I'm just as uh, surprised as you guys. And duplicates and anything we already have, obviously up for grabs. But that's all up for sale. So first of all, oh, yes. First of all, we have the Mater. I mean, you'd want this as the bare minimum, right? But here's the thing. So the reason we first started getting these was because I found a couple of them in TK Maxx last Christmas for like £3.50. Decent price. And my sister was tempted to buy the Mater one because, you know, you want Mater, don't you? And she nearly paid like £15 or something for this. So to get this, you know, to have another shot at these and to get this... And to have another shot at these and to get this for the price I've actually paid, as opposed to, you know, having to pay, like, the, the scalp price, like, the, the secondary market price, is really, really good. But for some reason, on the back of the card, we have the snowmobile. I don't know if that's going to be the case for all of them, but that's interesting. And uh, just for those of you who don't know already, one of the alternate names, I think it's the French name for Mater, is Martin. And I just find that really funny. I got one. Of, I got his glorious figure a few months back on one of my old mail openings. I thought it was really funny. So let's see. What's this one? 
Another one! Yay! Hey! <laughs> one for my nephew, one for me. Lovely. We love to see it. I'm happy with that. Next up we have... Uh, see, that one has Mater on the back. Whoa, carding error. But the, the Mater part is correct. The front, like the paper insert is correct, but it's just a snowmobile on the back. Oh, now I'm not going to want to open it. <laughs> Damn. So we've got two Maters. we got Clutch Kringle. Oh, look at how tiny he is. That's so cute. I don't know. Oh, there, there's his front. There, that was the back. I don't know if he's based on an existing character or whether it's just like, you know, it's just a Santa Claus like car thing, but very cute, very cute. And we got another one of him. So that's good. And we got, oh, Doc Hudson. Wow, he looks, he looks really sneaky. He's got a really sneaky expression. It's Christmas time, Doc. What are you scheming? And look at that, that, that Santa hat looks really weird. It's just like a big red splodge on the top of his head. And he's got the uh, the wreath on the front there as well. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Is And there's another dock in there as well. So far, so good. So far, so good. This'll, this'll, this'll work. I'm a bit... I've just realised how much money I'm suddenly spending on these <laughs> rather than selling them on. We've got Sally. Nice Sally. She's got the earmuffs on. She's got the uh, snowflake and uh, whatever you would call that decal down the side. This will be another Sally, I'd hope. Yep. So, so far we've got two copies of everything. So, we're not getting that much of an assortment. Oh, so we got the snowmobile. My sister was looking at this as well. It's a really weird looking thing, isn't it? My sister was uh, looking at getting one of these. See, there's the snowmobile card as well. Uh, they're, they're, all the others are correct. It's just that one meter. That's really interesting. And I remember one time one of these came in on Click and Collect when I was working at Smith's. Yeah, we had no chance of finding this. That was definitely a, a write it off kind of thing. Sometimes that happens. There was nothing we could do much about that. Oh, right. So you get one snowmobile and three Lightning McQueens to finish the box off. Which is kind of more what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting like five Lightning McQueens or something daft like that. And then like one of maybe everyone else. Three Lightning McQueens left. So they'll all be going into the store. They all have correct backing cards as well, just to check. But, hey, this was fun, you know? So we've got, like, five for my nephew, four for me. My sister gets these at cost. I get them at cost, funnily enough. And then we got the three Lightning McQueen. I don't know what they're going to sell for. you got to imagine there's, there's a bit of profit in them, you'd hope. If nothing else, you know, we might just wait until Christmas. See if they get a bit more hype behind them. If not, you know... I don't know. I'll have some spare Christmas Lightning McQueen's. I'm sure we'll be able to get them sold eventually. Anyway, this has been everything for this video. So if you enjoyed it, please do like, comment and subscribe. Check out the mail opening playlist in the end screen. And I will also have one of my other stock mail opening videos in the end screen as well. If you like the look of anything that you saw here, send me a message on the Disaster Fix Facebook page or the DSW Network Instagram page, which will be in the links in the description. I really do appreciate you guys joining me. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.